everybody. I think the lighting is bad. No matter which way I turn. Let's turn some more lights on. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know if that's any better. Maybe a little bit. Everybody, it's Sunday morning, April 25th. It's still morning, but it's like 11 something a.m. I don't know what time it is exactly. Um, you know, I slept in a bit, which doesn't happen too often, but probably because I was tired from the COVID shot. But other than a little bit of fatigue and a sore arm, I'm fine. Uh, anyway, I've been up for a while doing chores and starting laundry, cleaning out a few drawers, and getting rid of some things that I never wear anymore, which I seem to need to do every year or so. Um, piece puzzle but it's deceptively hard but I got it done I think it's time to go take a walk now yeah all right I'll be back good morning everybody it is Monday morning April 26th 9 40 a.m. I'm looking at the computer don't get all excited or anything um so we had an early morning visit from the groundskeeper for the school because he couldn't find where the dead deer carcass was. And so we pointed that out to him. So hopefully that's getting taken care of sometime today or soon. Um, no word yet on the tree, although the school has informed me they've called in an arborist to look at the tree that we are concerned about that's right next to the house. So now the only other thing to do this morning is get somebody to call us back about the leak in the seal or the drainage system or something in the sunroof of my Subaru. Because, yeah, that's a thing. It's not a bad leak, but it's a leak. And I live in the Pacific Northwest, so, yeah, it's an issue. <sighs> anyway. That's what's going on right now this morning. I'm going to edit the vlog and I'm going to answer that dinging because that's a Facebook message or something. And uh, yeah, let's hope let's hope we make some progress today on some of those things because that would be nice. All right, I'll be back. everybody it is Tuesday April 27th 10 40 a.m. it's the only way I know right now 
Um, as you can see, I'm checking on YouTube comments and that sort of thing. I, if you saw this clip, there was a little clip of me, I think, working on these yesterday. So these are um, dryer sheets and I um, don't really use them too much anymore, but um, I do have actually half a box downstairs. I use wool dryer balls instead, but I'm going to use up the half a box. And then when I'm um, done doing the laundry, I save them and I iron them flat. Yes, you can iron them. And then I use um, fabric paints to doodle designs on them. And then I use them in my journal. And let's see if I can show you a page. I can't find the page I'm looking for and I don't want to just keep looking through the whole journal. But um, this is these circles here are actually um, a handmade paper, but it's the same idea. And then you can use it in the background of your journals to give some texture and interest. And these, these work out really well. They work out just the same. And it's easier to collage the dryer sheet to your page than it is tissue paper or napkin because they're, it doesn't tear as easy. And um, I usually just do black and white, but this time I decided to do some in brown and I have a green and a, a, a blue tealy color. And so, yeah, so I'm very well stocked up now. Um, there's a lot of them, yeah. But after I got them all done, I had the idea that I do have a little bit of leftover fabric paint. What if I um, did a couple of different designs than I normally do, which is just a scribbly circle. So I might have to use up that other half of that box of dryer sheets and work on that. Not right now, of course, because it'll take a while to use them, but you get the idea. Okay, I got a couple of short videos done for the folks over at Patreon. I'll be sharing still images of said work to, in, to social media later, Instagram and Facebook. Got another journal page done and that video will be here on YouTube. Like the others, it'll just be music, no talking. And going back to an old form of sort of art journaling slash documenting my life style that I used to do. I used to do it a lot when traveling, but hello COVID, nobody's traveling. So I've decided to do it and document the things that are happening. And so, like getting my second COVID shot, yay. It is 10.15 or so a.m. on Wednesday, April 28th. Computer. Um, I'm loading some patron-only video um, to Dropbox. This morning I have a Dropbox file full of videos um, and some unlisted here on YouTube for patrons only. And so, yeah, they get some video content y'all don't get. So if you want to see what that is go over to Patreon. It's very inexpensive to support the free content here on Facebook and over, I mean, here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups by becoming one of my patrons. Plus you get the free content, you get downloads uh, periodically from me. And every now and then once or twice a year or more, if I can squeeze it into the budget, you get actual snail mail from me. I did have a, another video that I wanted to do, or I thought I filmed doing this page here. So I used to do pages like this in a journal. This is um, one of my favorite, uh, what is it? Um, you know, it's that Ranger, holy cow, Illusions creative journal. It's this small one. Um, I do like it for this particular thing. I do something that I've, I've been calling my life journal and I actually haven't done one for a little bit. And I decided when we got our second COVID shot that maybe it was time to do it. It's just kind of my way of creatively um, journaling um, what's going on in my life. I had some pictures, um, ticket stubs if we've gone out somewhere. Usually I do this kind of thing when we're traveling, um, but in light of the pandemic, of course, we're not doing that. But I did get my second COVID shot and I wanted to document that, so I started a new one. So I'm sure I can find stuff in life that I want to document in here, so I've started a new journal. Didn't really need to, but you know, I thought I filmed it, but yeah, evidently I forgot to turn the camera on at least at the important parts. So anyway, I don't have that.
my days these days just never turn out as planned. Sorry about that. I'm kind of holding the phone with one hand. I'm trying to check the mail. Um, expected sort of a quiet day. Upstairs doing art and things while the cleaning lady was doing her job and doing it so much better than I can. Um, and then the poop hit the fan again with my my mom, my parents, her health care. And trying to get the doctors, nurses, hospitals to, like, to actually talk to each other is just like pulling teeth in a rhinoceros, a wild mad one. It's just, it shouldn't be this hard. She was supposed to have a procedure tomorrow to relieve some pain and maybe give her some slight mobility improvement. Um, keeping in mind, there's not a lot they can do, but they can do that. Um, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's being rescheduled for at least a week because of some miscommunications between the doctors that we're all having to make phone calls and straighten out because they can't be bothered to accurately communicate to each other. My dad's given the nursing care place three copies of the same paperwork like three different times that they needed. Like, just, it's so bad. I could go into more detail, but I'm not going to. It's just, it's bad, you guys. It's just so bad. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. Yeah, yeah, what day is it? April, <laughs> April 29th, 9-11 a.m. I woke up to an early morning message from my friend Mike Deacon over a Mission Inspiration. I'm working on some stuff with him, and he um, <laughs> he forgot, and I kind of forgot too, to get me some um, stuff that I needed so I could do some recordings for him. That's all coming up for May, and so we got that done, I think. And I've got my my copy of that I need here. Um, and the video clip for him, he loves it. Yay! Sorry, jiggly old lady arms, sorry. Oh, oops, that's not what we want there. Explosion sounds, that's Mike's video. Okay, so, um, so that worked, so yay. Okay, so we got that done. It only took like 20 takes. And yes, I put a little bit of makeup on because I thought I don't want to look like a complete slob on video for everybody all the time. Um, I do have an appointment to go get my hair trimmed today. And so we're going to go take care of that. Um, I've got to put my desk back together because I had to rearrange things to get the best lighting for the video clip for him. So that was a thing. <laughs> it's just a lot. And there's lots of stuff going on with my mom. I'm going to turn this light off, which means you're going to see my bags, but that's okay. These, um... There's a lot going on with my mom and miscommunications between doctors and the family. And anyway, so the short story is her procedure is being put off for a week, which isn't a super great idea, but we don't have any choice. So that's a thing. Um, so I'm headed home now. This is how my hair looks. It never is this straighter decently curly unless I see Cassandra um, but this is what I think we're going to do something similar for the wedding celebration so looks good I think I'm starving now so I'm going to go home and have lunch I'll be back so it's almost lunchtime and it's yet another one of those days where I forgot to vlog <laughs> um, added a few more layers yesterday when she cut my hair so that when I do just let it dry like this naturally by the way I didn't this is how my hair goes by itself um, there's, it, it's less flat in the front, which I, I like. Um, when I was younger, my hair was bone straight. And as I've gotten more gray, it does this. So anyway, I decided to spend some time this morning starting a new puzzle. I'm going to stop right now. Bob and I will work on it some more later. Um, I need a prescription refill for my prescription with my doctor. And I sent an email off yesterday and I don't wait usually more than 24 hours. If I don't get an email back, then I call the office. Good thing I did because she's on vacation for two weeks. And I explained the situation. So they're going to have another one of their doctors look at it and see if they can approve the prescription. Um, let's see what else. Emails back and forth with the HOA because I'm trying to get our, re our front yard re-landscaping re plan approved. 
So she's gonna check on that. She hasn't heard anything yet. And um, got confirmation from my mom's doctors that finally the paperwork's been done and approved so they can go forward with the procedure she needs next week. Yay. Now we just have to make sure that transportation is arranged and one that's covered by insurance and not ridiculously expensive. So that's a thing. I think in the meantime, we're gonna have lunch, right, Fred? Yep. And he's, he's gonna move the cars around for me too because I don't drive his little red sports car. Um, I don't want you to drive the little red sports car. See? <laughs> and I don't know how to drive the Barracuda to stick shift. So yeah, we won't even go there. Um, don't but. Want to drive no, but the red sports car is the one that's be safe to be out in the weather. <clears throat> and so we need to switch the cars around since mine has a, a water leak somewhere in, a, in the window or the sunroof or who knows where. And it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So or Mitzi. I, Mitzi's going to have to get rained on. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that my car stays dry and doesn't get moldy until we can get it fixed. Yeah. Which is next week. So anyway, it's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to eat some lunch. I'll be back. It is Saturday morning, May 1st. It's just before 11 o'clock, 10.49 a.m. And I, um, you know, for no particular reason, Bob and I had a slow start this morning. We didn't need to go anywhere. We don't need to run any errands. Bob's got a couple of things around the house he wants to do, so he's outside doing that. So. I am getting my journals ready, my daily drawing and art journals ready for May. Um, because, well, it's May 1st, and I need to put um, the April ones away. I need to add some little bits of ephemera to refill the ephemera pack for my daily drawing bag downstairs and or change out a few things. I changed out some of the washi tape already and um, prep the cover for my um, moleskin cahier that I use for... Um, um, my creative year and I am gonna do all that and I'm gonna let you watch me so we'll do it to music right about here I'll be back
Okay, so we got all of our morning chores done. So we're out taking crazy pants for a walk. Yeah. She had to go for a walk. We came inside to sit down and chill for a bit after doing morning chores and she immediately got the wrong idea. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's overcast, but not too cold. And not raining, at least not yet. So I don't even have a coat on, but you know. Anyway, I don't know what we'll get up to for the rest of the afternoon, but I'll let you know. I'll be back. Doing laps around the house. I'm only a few hundred steps short of 10,000. So I'm doing laps. Right now we're over here in the front room because it's quiet. Dude's got the TV on. We're grilling up some steaks before it starts raining again. Got some salad. We've got some grilled asparagus. Should probably turn the lights on so I'm not talking in the dark. <laughs> anyway, we're still puppy sitting and it's been a good jam packed day. I'm not sure we're gonna go for a second WALK after dinner or not. It's looking like really crappy weather. Not that that's ever stopped us before, but you never know. In the meantime, I wanna make sure I have 10,000. So I did already close the vlog for a week and right about here, you just heard me say, we're probably not going for a walk. Yeah, me and my big mouth. I lied. We're going for a walk. Crazy pants. <sighs> yeah, Crazy Pants kind of is insisting on it. She's just insane for the walking. And she's really trying hard to catch herself a bullfrog because she's hearing them every time we take her out. And she is obsessed. Anyway, I also have an idea, I think, for the May mission inspiration tutorial video if i can get it to work i think it'll be cute so we'll see so watch for that anyway we're gonna go for a walk and we will continue with the closing of the vlog right about here anyway it's been an interesting week i am going to film some videos Hopefully tomorrow and Monday um, for May, I'm, I'm behind again. Like I'm always behind lately, um, including my take on the mission inspiration this month for Mike Deacon's art group. And um, yeah, there's some posts over there with my thinking behind um, the mission this month, which by the way, I, I did the mission this month. Mike asked me to, I said, I'd be happy to. Um, so if you wanna see what that's all about, Go join Mission Inspiration. The link is down below. Um, anyway, I hope you've all had a good week or as good as you can make it because, you know, life is challenging on a regular day. And this is COVID. So, you know. Anyway, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. I reply to all my comments. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, of which I have two ways to do that, like shop in my Etsy store, join my Patreon, join said Facebook art groups, are in my link tree list of links, which is down below, along with my link to the art foamies I've designed and the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and a bunch of other really great, talented artists. All that stuff's down in the description. Check it out. All right. That's it, I think, for this week. 
Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys. I'm going to get some more steps in. I'll be back.